When I was a, a young boy in the 1950s and I first heard Elvis Presley and I seen the movie Loving You, I lived in Ireland at the time, in the west coast of Ireland. Like, and the moment I saw Elvis Presley on the screen, I thought, oh, I love all that. Like, you know, and, uh, and then when I moved from there to Wales, I lived next to a fairground. I used to hear all the records playing on the fairground and stuff like that, you know. And I just got to love the music, you know. When the 60s came and it all changed, I just stuck with the 50s stuff, you know. Can you describe uh, Teddy Boy culture? What is different uh, comparing to American rockabilly culture? Was it more aggressive? What was uh, its originality? Um, I would say the Teddy Boy culture is, that's the thing that kept rock and roll alive. Because during the period of the 1960s, when you had like the mods and the rockers and things like that, it was the, the Teddy Boy was a way of showing people you're a rock and roll fan, you know? I mean, a lot of rockers just like the local pop music and th at that time, same as the mods like, and uh, if you wore the Teddy Boy gear, it meant you stood out as a rock and roll fan, that you still liked the earlier stuff like, you know? So I think that's why the Teddy Boy thing is very different from the 50s. During the 50s, Teddy Boys didn't necessarily get along together. You know, the different gangs from different areas, there was fights between them, everything like But in the 1960s, when the Teddy Boy reformed, from my age group, say, it was because they were rock and roll fans and they were trying to show the world that they were rock and roll fans, you know? Uh, 